Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Saint Hendo, God's favorite sneakerhead. You already know what it is. Um, this episode is going to be a little different. Um, instead of doing sneaker review this time, we're going to go through some of the lace swaps. Like, I'm really big on lace swaps. I really enjoy switching laces on sneakers. That's one of my main things. Sometimes a lace swap can make the difference of, like, something being real crazy. Like, other than being subtly toned and put out, like how Nike or whoever releases it. This is where I get my laces from. This is generally what I do. These are just your basic everyday Nike. This, these are actually from the Nike outlet. Just nothing crazy. These were might've been like two bucks. Um, these are just the basic Nike uh, laces that I got right off the rack up there. Nothing special about them really. And you can tell like they are not, you'd be surprised at the quality of laces once you really start buying like quality laces. Um, so these are, like I said, nothing crazy. Just regular old laces. These are flat laces from Nike. That's it. These are what you would get off their website. These are what you get from Nike Outlet Store, wherever you are. Generally, this is the type of stuff you would get from like uh, Foot Locker, Finish Line, Foot Action, these laces, okay? And these are Nike laces, nothing special. So then next up, one of my favorite places that I get a lot of laces from, um, this is Laced Up Laces. And I'll link all the uh, websites in the description. So check them all out. These are my favorite, one of my top favorite places to get laces from. This is Laced Up Laces. And these are actually LeBron Watch the Throne laces. All right. So these are like a limited release with this company. So they probably have them here and there on and off, but I got these. I don't have the uh, Watch the Throne LeBron eyes, but I do like the laces. So I might throw these like, and let's say my all blacked out LeBron eights. Like I'll do stuff like that. It's crazy. Like the little things that you can get. And um, I, I never even realized uh, the level of laces that come through, like with certain things. Like I didn't know that was a big thing. But see the packaging and how that works. Um, it's just a uh, put tug it open and you can get the laces out. So see, now I just opened it up. And then we can just go in and grab the laces and we're good to go. See? So now this feels like a lot different with quality wise opposed to the Nike laces. The Nike laces just feel they honestly they feel cheap compared to these. It's not like a major difference, but on a scale of one to 10, 10 being like a, a very high quality lace, um, these Nikes honestly feel like, I would say like a seven. It's nothing outrageous, but these, just the texture of them, like it just literally feels like night and day. Um, and then also on the tips, they have their logo of the company of Laced Up. So they have the, on the tips, they have that logo, but you could tell the difference, like holding two different types of these laces in hand, you tell the difference. These are just flat laces. That's that's all it is. All right. So that's laced up laces. So this and like check the packaging. The packaging just be crazy. All right. This company is called Lace Kings. Like I get stuff from these guys all the time, and I like how they package it. Like these are this is how they package their laces. So it comes in a little tube. So what I did with these was this is when I used. This is when I did these. See, this is the basic sneaker. This is how it comes out the box. These Kyrie fives. So this is how these, I mean, uh, what is this, Kyrie sixes? Uh, yeah. So uh, this is how it comes out the box, basic. So then I swap those I swap those laces and put these laces in. See what I'm saying? Night and day. Like to me, that looks way better. Like to each their own, but like to me, I love it. So this is it. So th these are Lace Kings. A little twist off top. Pull the laces out. You know what I'm saying? So, now these are oval laces. These aren't flat. Like most of the sneakers these days have the time have ovals. So these are oval laces. Um, but yeah, but honestly, now this is something you could repurpose. Like you could reuse this for whatever, you know? You can put whatever you want in there. I mean, have, you, use your imagination. You can use whatever you want. Um, but you can put all kinds of stuff in here or you can just have it laying around as a display item somewhere. Um, but I just keep all the old laces, like I re, I relace these so that way I can show you the difference. Um, but I'll just put the old laces back in here and then that'll be that. So that's Lace Kings, uh, very nice packaging. I really like this package. This is probably my favorite packaging. I'll show you all my favorites at the end, like my hands down, these are my go-tos. But these, Lace Kings, fantastic company. Shipping is great. Um, all the laces I've gotten, I've never had an issue with any of the shipping from these guys. Like any of these companies, I've never had a problem with them. Then you have uh, Rope Lace Supply. They're okay. Um, they have a lot of options too. And they sell like a lot of, which most of these companies do. They sell a lot of 
laces specifically for that sneaker. So if you're looking for, let's say, Jordan Cement 3 laces, the specific like lace that goes in there, they sell those. Um, Jordan 5s, or matter of fact, probably most retros. Um, they sell that, or NMDs uh, from Adidas. Like they sell those laces specifically for those. So um, most of these companies I'm showing you, they sell laces specific for that shoe, that brand, that silhouette. So just keep that in mind. This is Rope Lace Supply. This is another one, same same type of packaging as uh, Laced Up Laces. It's better quality than Nike, but it's not over the top. But for me, for these, I didn't get anything reckless with these. It was just a basic, a basic black flat lace. Cause I don't even remember what I put these in. Like I got so many sneakers, I don't really recall all the ones I switched out. But this is before I started organizing and keeping the old laces in the old bags. In the back, the cool thing about their packaging, which in tune, um, it's not on, I don't think it's on everybody's. Uh, but on here, it'll tell you on the back uh, how many eyelets you have, and it'll tell me how many, how many inches you need the lace to be. So that way you don't have any confusion about what you need to put in your sneaker, which I think is very handy for a lot of people that might not know what size lace you need for what um, what size sneaker you have. You just count the eyelets, then you look at this this little uh, graph or whatnot, and it'll tell you like, hey, this is how many inches your lace to be in order for to fit your shoe properly. All right, that's rope lace supply. That's cool. And also, rope lace supply they send you a sticker also when you're packaging. So usually it's a little um, a little sticker that goes in there, something that you would get from like StockX or Goat or something like that. Same thing. They they send a little sticker with that stuff. So a lot of people don't know, so it's it's easy for me to tell you because you may not have ever ordered from these places. So at least you know what all you're getting. Like I order from these guys all the time. Like I have tons of laces. That's probably just as many laces as I have sneakers. So then the next place, which is another one of my favorites, there's many places to choose from. I just, these are the places I frequent. These are the places that I'm a patron. This is Lace Lab. Lace Lab, another one. Lace Lab, absolute quality with Lace Lab. These are just three of my packaging. Like, I tried to pull out a little bit of everything, but I, I got so many, I didn't really have a time to go through all the stuff. Lace Lab, this is their packaging, very similar to everybody else's packaging, where you can just open up the top and then get your, you know, get your laces out. Also comes with the sticker. Um, most, I, I believe all the ones I've ever gotten, uh, it was a point when they didn't send them out, but I've been dealing with them so long that I used to get laces from them before they sent stickers. And now, obviously they send stickers probably 99% of the time. These are oval laces with uh, gold, it's all white with gold speckles. Like I don't even know where I'm gonna put these in, but I grabbed them because I mean, one day I'll put them in something. That's the kind of stuff that I do. Uh, so here, they'll tell you like, this is the size. They'll tell you the size of the, the lace right there. Now it'll also show you on the back, it'll tell you the same principle of how many eyelets you have and then how many inches you need the laces to be in order for it to fit correctly. You can close it back up, zip lock it back up just like that. And that'll be Lace Lab. And the sticker you'll get, will very uh, it'll look just like their logo on the package. So it'll look very similar to that. Um, just a little sticker, nothing big, probably fitting like maybe like this, the palm of your hand, um, nothing crazy. So this is another like little swap I've done with my Jordans, the Instincts. I threw in, like you know they come with just regular old black laces. So I switched them out for these and I got these from, I believe, Rope Lace Supply. So this was something they had going on at Rope Lace Supply. So when every time I wear these, people mention the laces. See, it's like the little things. I'm all about the details and the little stuff that goes into this stuff. So, which is, which is always a good move. So this is, truly gets people's attention. Just how simple a lace swap can really make a sneaker that's already nice stand out. And even if this sneaker isn't for everybody, just, I mean, just respect the lace swap. Just respect the swap. That's what I'm saying. It's crazy. It's the little thought that goes into it, the little things. Like certain sneakers I get, I won't even change. I won't even wear the sneakers until I get my laces swap because I have a vision of how I want it to be or a fit that I'm gonna wear it with or whatever the case may be. It'd be something to that effect. So I wait to wear them until like, yo, like these Kyrie's, like I waited until I got these laces before I wore these. Like that's how crazy it was. Like I was like, yo, I know what I'm gonna do with these. I know I'm gonna switch the laces. Everything doesn't have to be a custom color or send them off to be customized and stuff. You can do stuff at your house. You can do stuff that simple, lace swap, boom. And you can change the whole look from you and everybody else that has them. You just have to look and, and be kind of tentative of what's online and what you want to do and what kind of fit you want to wear or whatnot. Um, but I didn't see a lot of videos of people talking about where they get laces from like online. And I see a lot of people get stuff off of Amazon, but that's still not even quality stuff. I've been down that road. It's better that you go to these websites that specialize in this stuff. Like for instance, Lace Lab, Lace Kings, and Lace Stuff Sneakers. These are hands down my favorite out of everything I've shown you, okay? So the highlights of some of this stuff is most of these companies 
if not all, they offer all kinds of like things you can do to your laces. You can get the Yeezy tips on them from the um, the Yeezy twos. Like these have uh, metal uh, tips on them, metal actually gold tips on the gold sneak. You see what I'm saying? Like it's the little details. Um, so it has those gold tips, the gold sparkles on the tan, like the kind of off white lacing. Um, but you can get the Yeezy tips, square tips, block tips. You can get the diamond coated tips. Uh, it's just so much stuff you can. I don't even really offer the diamond ones anymore, but they used to. Um, but you can get so many different options when you asking them, when you're talking about the uh, the tips to your, to your laces. So it's really your imagination is really how as far as you want to go. You can take it that far. So that's just something I want to share with you guys is the way I customize and the way I get my laces and things like that. I'll leave all the websites down in the description so that way you can go click on it check them out yourself see what fits for you if it's anything that you want to mess with um so once again i appreciate you guys stopping by checking me out uh, we're gonna keep the content coming i'm gonna keep it grinding uh thank you for all the support and all the new subscribers uh one or two a day one every blue moon it doesn't matter to me i treat 100 130 180 3000 i treat all y'all the same i appreciate it I'm, as long as i can spread a little knowledge and i'm getting enjoyment out of this it's cool with me all right, thank you. I appreciate it. I'll let y'all later. Yeah.